Ah. You YouTube reviews. YouTube reviewers. We love them. We all love to watch them. And whether we are in the market to buy those products that, that they are reviewing, or we just want to generally learn about those things, you can agree with me that whatever they do tell us greatly impacts our view on those products. And they often change our buying decisions positively or negatively. So did these YouTube reviews or YouTube reviewers actually benefit us or not? Well, yes and no. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, Alex Ido here and this is Dynamic Range Productions. And if you're new here, I'm a cinematographer and YouTuber who is focused on teaching startup YouTubers and videographers how to create the best quality content based on what they have and based on what they want to get. Now, if you're in the market for a phone, a camera, or, or even a laptop or some, some kind of camera accessory for a YouTube channel or for your whatever you're doing that requires a camera, you'd obviously know that there are a lot of YouTubers who do reviews and they're the main brands like MKBHD, Mr. Jose Boss, Jordan Dunn, Peter McKinnon, you know, a lot more. Those are like my top guys that I always go to for quality video content or, or, or reviews. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I, I, I'm not here to diss anybody's reviewer or say that they're wrong. No, I mean, I'll still watch them one time, as in one click, once it's out, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to watch it like, a, like an assignment. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to just like clarify the meaning of a review and what it is. Like, Sometimes we take what these reviewers say a little bit too strongly and hard. We, we forget that sometimes these, these reviewers are privileged to have another option or are privileged to have a, a, a better option than what we have. You understand? For example, if you want to buy a camera, a, 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 there are some cameras that a YouTuber would never recommend for you. But for you, that's your only option. You're going to be like, oh my god, since I don't have the budget for that camera, I'm not going to make a scene again. It's too expensive. But meanwhile, if you actually get that one that's available to you, you can use the best of it regardless of whether you have that one that he said you should get or not. Now, obviously, those things he says in the video are true, but it's all personal preference. Remember, a reviewer is reviewing a product based off of his personal view first before any other buyer's view. Yes, there's some general views, but it's mainly my opinion or his opinion or her opinion. Now, what do I mean? For example, in, in the real world, right? If you have a camera, the camera you have right now, your phone, or your actual camera you have, it doesn't matter. You can actually create crazy content from that thing you have right now. Regardless of whether you have the best camera, the R5, the a Sony A7S III or whatever. But whatever you have right now, you can use that thing to make good content video. Your story is what's important. How you can tell that story through, your, through visual storytelling. How you can project that message through visuals. That's what matters. Nobody really cares about the camera quality. Heck. The camera I used to film these videos right here, right now, that are that, that probably playing on the screen right now. You will, you will never believe, believe that these videos were shot at 720p at 60 frames per second with the Canon Rebel T7. If, if you don't know what a Canon Rebel T7 is, it's, it's a camera that specced on B H, the largest photo brand in the US, the largest photo store, photographic camera store in the US. They don't brand this camera as a video camera because it's actually terrible for a video. And to be honest, yes, it is difficult to work with with video, but that didn't stop me. I used that same camera that is not even spec as a video camera to create videos, and those videos would come out crazy. If, if, if I didn't tell you that those videos were a 720p video, you'd probably be like, oh my god, why? But it looks so good, and you will tell the difference, right? Right now, I'm filming on an EOS R as a full frame camera, I'm filming in 1080p. 30 frames per second and how does it look? It looks okay, right? But uh, does that really determine how good my quality is? Yes and no. For example, this same camera that you're filming right now is a is a camera that costs a lot of money. It's a full frame, it's a full frame camera. But if you watch some certain reviewers, right? They're gonna, they're gonna tell you that this camera is a disappointing camera that because it, it has a crop in 4K. What, what, what that means is that if, if you want to shoot 4K, the video is going to crop into the frame to get that 4K, which, which is going to be difficult when you want to shoot wider shots. You have to crop in, you understand? But that didn't stop me from making this, but from getting this camera for myself because I knew that, okay, this camera is a big step up from my first camera, which is a T7, and it's going to help me use, it's going to just like promote and push my work regardless of what that reviewer or those reviewers said. 
I don't want to confuse anybody because as you all know that the iPhone 14 just came out like last week or what was it last week? I can't remember, but it, it just came out this month. And it's an amazing phone, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing phone. And there's a, for example, there's a camera comparison done by Mr. Who's the Boss, which is one of my favorite YouTubers, and he compared the Samsung Galaxy H2 Ultra to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And phones right now are so good to the point where like, when I was watching that video, I was like, but well, hang on. These photos are, are, not, are not exactly bad. You understand? It's just like details that the normal, the normal person, you yourself, you won't even notice the difference. Like, okay, this one has slightly warmer tones and this one has slightly cooler tones. But they're all amazing images you get. And like, I'm just, that's, that, that's why I, I realized like, it doesn't really matter at this point anymore what phone or what camera you're using if they're so good right now. It, it, it doesn't. I mean, if you go with the S22, or the iPhone 14, or fact, iPhone 13, or the S21, or S2, anyone, you're good at it because they're, good, they're going to give you the best content and the best quality video or photos at their level. And you won't be able to tell the difference. I mean, who really cares? So what's the point of all this? I'm not here to like diss those reviewers. For example, there's some reviewers that I watched for that. I watched a review just to learn more and also have more knowledge about the product. So that in case I, I want to upgrade or change in the future, I will, I will know which one to get best at a certain level. But this is for you guys. This video is for you guys. You guys who are like me, who don't have those as much money as they do because the minimum wage here is not the same minimum wage over there. And the prices, by, by the time those things get from the US to here, the, the prices almost double and they, go, they come more expensive. So it's quite hard for most of us here to actually just go out and purchase a camera or buy a camera. It's quite difficult. So this, so this video is for you guys. When you watch a video from a YouTuber about a product that you want to buy, watch it with the sense that this YouTuber has the privilege to use another camera. He has the money to get another camera. He has a, the, the, the abundance to say what he wants to say that because he has used an, another brand. But for you who don't have that privilege, don't take it. Don't believe, like I said, oh my God, if, if I, I don't have this camera, I won't get this quality content. If, if you do that, trust me, you will never ever create anything with anything you have. You can have the best camera and you're going to watch a review and that review is, is going to say that camera it was disappointing at, at a certain point and that can throw you off and be like oh my god this, this camera is not good but, but that camera is amazing i'm used to this like when i first started out i thought my camera was trash yes it was difficult to use but for a long period of time i didn't even for almost a year i didn't even touch my camera because i felt like it, was, it wasn't good enough but that changed for me i said that you know what this, this is what i have i'm going to take this and i'm going to make what i want with this and that has made me a lot of money regardless so for you guys who are watching the video who are watching the review and you know that okay you don't have the money to like get to the other one trust me if you have the money to get a, a better version of a camera that you want to get do well fine go go get the camera it's, it's, it's going to serve you better but if you do not and if you have what and even if what you want right now is not in your budget and, and you have something right now take up your camera and go and create the content all those guys that make skits in nigeria rodney gilmore they don't have phones sorry they don't have cameras rather they don't use, they use their phone Right? And look at what they have. They are one of the most famous Nigerian TikTokers ever. And they have they even have cameras. And you that's busy, you know, saying, oh my god, I don't have this. Just get out and take a camera and film stuff and create your stories. But that's it for me, guys. I'm Alex Hide here. This is Dynamic Range Productions. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on IG. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. And stay tuned for more. And yes, for the record, as you can probably have seen. I wear braces. Deal with it.